Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiera Holman and welcome to another episode of Boss Talks. So on the last episode, you know, I was real cute, you know, real glammed up, you know, but this is actually the reality of how I be looking when I be working. Speaking of my last video, if you have not seen that one, go check it out. I talked about where I got my thank you cards, my disc, ooh. Sorry, that was rude. I talked about where I got my thank you cards, my discount cards, and I also did um, product sh um, photo shoots. So it'll be on the screen, so you know, go watch that and then come back to episode two. Today, we're gonna be talking about my website. I have been working on upgrading the look of my website because um, I've recently started using Photoshop and I was really scared to use Photoshop. Like for some reason I was like, oh my gosh, Photoshop gonna be so hard. There's so much to learn. Which there is so much to learn about Photoshop, but it's actually a lot simpler than I thought it was gonna be. So let's look at my website. So this is my website right here. Um, if you guys do not know, I use Shopify as like my, where I use to make my website. Um, but yeah, so I wish I would have got a video of what it looks like before I changed it. Um, I might have some like Instagram stories, so I'll try to insert those so you can kind of see the progression of my website. Also, um, follow my business page because you can also see there the progression of like my product photos and you know, how much using Photoshop has elevated it. That's the size point, come on. The, um, before I was just trying to take photos of my products and they weren't really turning out, you know, very professional. They didn't look very good um, for my website standards. So I was like, let me go ahead and learn how to use Photoshop. So all of these pictures were created in Photoshop. Um, if you would like to check out my website, the link is also down below, but yeah. Um, all my little product photos like these were created in Photoshop. These are not actual um, photos. These are mock-ups. Yep. So let me show you the process of how I did this. Let's go. If you don't know about Creative Market, um, it's very helpful, okay? It's very, very, very helpful. That is where I got all of my mock-ups from. I get a lot of things from Creative Market. You can get fonts, mock-ups, templates, graphics, all types of things. Yes, you have to pay for them, but most of the time they're not that expensive. And you also have to think like, this is your business, you're investing in yourself, you know. You're trying to make yourself grow. You wanna make your products look nice and professional. So put the money into it so that it looks good. Because what you are gonna put money into, your makeup, your clothes, let's put some money into something that's gonna help your business. You know what I'm saying? I recently came out with my ultimate planner. So I was like, I need a planner markup, right? So I went to Creative Market and I think I typed in planner. Oops. Planner mock-up. And as you can see here, they have lots of options to pick from. So you have to really think about, you know, how do you want your um, website to look? Do you want it to be more cool tone? Do you want it to be neutral? Do you want to have like a dark, you know, look to it? It's really up to you and how you want it to look. But I needed like a little simple open book mock-up. So we're gonna click this one. This is what's gonna pop up. It pretty much shows you everything you would get if you purchased it. So as you can see, this comes with a bunch of different, you know, book layouts. You get a couple different shadows that you can add to it. It tells you down here at the sides, you know, it tells you everything that this comes with down here. It tells you what, what it's compatible with. Um, if you're gonna be using Canva, you should definitely make sure that it's compatible for Canva because you would hate to buy something that only works for Photoshop. You're gonna add the cart or buy it and then um, you're gonna download it. After you download it, let's see. You're gonna go into, and then you're gonna go to file and then open. So this is the one I had bought, um, magazine mockup. 
And then, you know, these are the, the files that came with it. We're gonna go with this one right here. So then you're just gonna click on it and open it. So you're like, okay, this is really cool. How do I get my design on this paper, right? Right, I got you. For your left page, right? Here is the corresponding page. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click this little spot right here. This is gonna pop up. You're gonna go to File, Place Embedded. I wanna go to my Life Planner. Let's use the Workout Pages. This is the left page in this book. That's also important. Make sure you're actually picking the right corresponding pages so that it matches up. Oh, it's raining, wow. And then you're gonna double click and you're gonna open it. So here's the page right here. And you wanna make it fit this page. So I'm just gonna drag it, click it and drag it so that it fits. Then you're gonna click enter. And then you're gonna hit Command S. Pretty much you're gonna save it. Um, it's Command S if you have a Mac. Not my camera's gonna die. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna hurry up. I'm gonna try to. Okay, so once you do that, you're gonna go back to your original design and as you can see, it's on the page. Yay! And then you would do the same exact thing for the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna come back to y'all because it's about to die. Okay, so both of the pages are done now. Something I wanna show y'all. So when you go to save it, you're gonna go file, save as, right? Um, we're just gonna name this workout log. Workout log. Okay, so you see how it says PSD, that's for Photoshop. So when uploading it to my website, it needs to be in a PNG or JPEG. So how to change that, you're gonna go to format and you see where it says Photoshop. You're gonna click here, the drop down, and then you're gonna go to JPEG and then save. And that way you won't have any problems when you go to upload it to your website. I hope that was very helpful. Um, that's pretty much what I did for my whole website. I went, I found mock-ups that I liked, I downloaded them. Um, most of them have the smart objects. That's what that is, so I can just click that little um, white and gray checker box to just place my image into the mock-up. It's called smart objects. So if you wanna double check and make sure that the mock-up that you're buying has smart objects, you can, but most of the time they do. Um, but yeah, that's what I did um, for my whole website. If you have any questions about Creative Market, um, I don't know about questions about Photoshop because that's about all I know about Photoshop right now, but I'm learning, okay? <laughs> um, if you have any questions on, um, you know, Shopify or, you know, anything that I kind of showed you today, just leave a comment down below and I got you. Y'all go check out my website. Go pre-order your Ultimate Planner right now. The launch date is November 21st. Um, it's an undated planner so that you can use it whenever. But um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.